Warning, the following contains scenes that may not be appropriate for all viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. You have been warned. Welcome back to another episode of Animation Horrors, and this time we're going to be taking a look at a movie called We're Back, at something I like to call the circus scene, quote unquote. And it's not necessarily one of the scariest ones, not one of the most disturbing ones, but I'll explain why later. So I should probably give you a little backstory on this movie. The movie is about... wait a minute, I'm not going to tell you the backstory. After all, the nostalgia critic already had to do it for me. Oh, and he had such a much better accent and uniform to go along with it too, didn't he? and with big glasses and stuff. Why are we watching this? Back to the thing. So it's not one of the most disturbing, it's not one of the most scariest scenes ever, but it's definitely up there, I think, because of the idea that it held, and not exactly held, but I think it still holds up that just what he wants to do. So I guess I should explain it uh, a little bit. So there's this guy, I guess, I don't remember his name or anything, but he owns a circus, and most people dedicate their circuses to, you know, entertain people, make it fun, make it lively. But this guy, he wants to do it for, guess what? To scare people. Yeah, that's kind of weird how he wants to, not how, but why, but I guess also how he does that. He also has this weird eye that's kind of like a screw, and it has some weird, weird powers. Um, as you can see here, like he's doing this weird hat thing, I have no idea what's going on. Uh, usually I'm left to believe with what exactly is he? Is he like some sort of sorcerer? Is this some sort of like CGI effects? You know, is this magic? And whoa, like, what was that? Like a, like a lot of these things look like effects, but I don't know, just the weird positioning of things and I don't know, just watch this whole movie, you can pretty much believe anything, so I think it's quite possible he can be some sort of sorcerer or something, like I don't know. And by the way, I couldn't find a steady clip of the whole scene, so I'm just got this and it's just a bunch of clips put together um, I have to match them up anyways to limit the time so here we have that giant scooby-doo and show thing with the skull and here we have these little demon things which again it's pretty weird keep in mind that visually it's not disturbing but just keep in mind if you were at a circus and you were looking at this sort of stuff like this stuff like just literally popped out of you you know you'd be pretty freaked out so just the idea of wanting to terrorize people and getting some sort of euphoric response to it, that's pretty freaky, and that's what this guy does. And then here's the dancing dragon, which I'm pretty sure that's real fire, and look at him, he's just smiling, like, who cares? And then they have this. this. This is the part that I never understood, because I believe at one point they clearly say, or they clearly show that they're people, but it's like, like, what's the point? Like, you're already using all this, like, magical stuff and whatnot, and this smoke and mirrors so why not use that and yeah then there's that freaky door that always creeped me out when I was little and it just opens and these depressed elephants that sort of I don't know why but they sort of remind me of the hyenas the, the Hitler marching hyenas from um, Lion King so then you have that and then you have like these weird red lights I'm not sure why if in case anybody in the circus is still there and then they have this giant pyramid which I have no idea why it has to be a pyramid, but it's supposed to be his latest thing and whatever. And we have the spotlight. There you go. No more red lights. And underneath it is none other than real dinosaurs. And not the cool kind like from Jurassic Park or like the cheesy, goofy kind from the movie. It's just something you have to see to the plot. Watch the Nostalgia Critics review to fully understand this part. So, I mean, seriously, could you imagine going to a circus and seeing like real dinosaurs? Oh, and here's the part that really freaked me out. Like, what is up with his eye? Is it some sort of hypnosis thing? Is it some sort of, like, ghost? The phantom? Again, is it, like, magic? It's some sort of science? What's going on here? But apparently the dinosaurs like it or something, or it calms them down. Something like that. I don't really know. But, again, it's not really visually disturbing, except for this part right here. Take a look. Watch this. 
So in the end, everybody leaves him, and he's all alone. And then these crows or ravens follow him. And then look, he's just so quiet, and he's just sort of freaked out, and he's like tripping over everything. And then slowly they descend upon his foul dead body, which will be dead in a second. And like a scarecrow, his body had hit the floor, and his body will arise nevermore. And then his monocycle thing stays right there, anyways. But yeah. So anyways, that's this episode. It pretty much speaks for itself. Again, it's mostly the idea than anything else, but you know, it's just something that I thought I had to put up there because for me, it really tricked me out. And again, it's not one of the scariest, but it's the idea. The, the idea is definitely up there, and the idea is what really counts. So anyways, I'm the Unity Miles Critic, reminding you when you sleep, don't. And stay tuned for some more animation horrors.